Welcome to Microfocus. This video provides an overview of upgrading Identity Manager components such as Identity Vault, Identity Manager Engine, Remote Loader, Drivers, iManager, and Designer. After planning your upgrade, review your prerequisites from the setup guide and then start upgrading these components. These are the high level steps to plan your upgrade. Back up your project. Upgrade Designer to the latest version. Upgrade iManager to the latest version for Identity Manager. Update the iManager plugins to match the version of iManager. On the server running Identity Manager, upgrade Identity Vault to the latest supported version and patch for the upgrade. Upgrade the Identity Manager Engine The Identity Manager Engine upgrade program updates the driver shim files that are stored in the file system on the host computer. Ensure that the drivers are stopped before you start the upgrade process. If you are migrating the Identity Manager engine to a new server, you can use the same Identity Vault replicas that are on the current Identity Manager server. If any of the drivers in the driver set for the Identity Manager engine are remote loader drivers, upgrade your remote loader installations. Please be aware that we have included only few installation screens to describe the process. For end-to-end -end installation information, refer to the setup guide. Upgrading Designer Before you begin upgrading Designer, back up the current project and driver configurations. A Designer project contains the schema and all driver configuration information. NetIQ recommends that you back up the current configuration of your Identity Manager solution. Designer allows you to create and export of the drivers. However, it does not create a backup of the roles-based entitlements, driver and policies. Use iManager to verify that you have an export of the roles-based entitlement driver. You can upgrade Designer using the wizard or in the silent mode. Using the wizard Launch the Designer installation program from Identity Manager Media. Log in as an administrator to the server where Designer is installed. Specify the older Designer version path. Review the pre-installation summary before installing the new version of Designer. Select the workspace where your projects are saved. To make this workspace as a default workspace, check this checkbox. Go to the Help tab and check for Package or Designer Updates in Silent Mode. Open the Silent Properties in this path. In user install dir, specify the older version of designer path. In selected designer locale, specify the required language you want designer to launch after installation. Upgrading iManager Before upgrading iManager, backup the server.xml and context.xml files if you have modified them. The upgrade replaces all the configuration files. The upgrade process uses the HTTP port and SSL port values that were configured in the previous version of iManager. The upgrade process includes these activities. Upgrades iManager on various platforms. Upgrades role-based services. Reinstalls or migrates plugins 
for Plugin Studio. Updates iManager plugins after an upgrade or reinstall. You can update iManager using the wizard or in a silent mode. Using the wizard. If the setup program for iManager server detects a previously installed version of iManager, it might give you the option to stop the installation process or remove the existing iManager, JRE and Tomcat installations. Remove iManager, JRE and Tomcat and continue with the installation. Enter the port values for Tomcat HTTP and SSL. For upgrading, specify the path where older version of iManager was installed. Select the iManager plugins that you want to install along with the upgrade. You can also install all the plugins at once or you can select the required plugins to upgrade. Enter the username and tree name. Review the pre-installation summary page before installing. In silent mode, find install.properties file in this location. In install.properties file, mention the path where previous version of iManager was installed and Tomcat port numbers. On Linux machine, use this command to run the silent properties file. On Windows machine, use this command to run the silent properties file. After you upgrade iManager, ensure that you update the iManager plugins to match the version of iManager. By default, the upgrade program selects the plugins that need to be updated. NetIQ recommends that you should not deselect any plugins that were selected. Upgrading Identity Vault the Identity Vault upgrade process performs a server health check before the upgrade starts. If you encounter a critical error during the health check, you must resolve the error before proceeding with the upgrade. When you upgrade Identity Vault on Linux machine, it stops NDSD, which in turn stops all drivers. You can update Identity Vault using the wizard or in a console mode and as a root or non-root user. This information can be found in the Installing the Identity Vault section in the Setup Guide. Using Wizard This is supported only on Windows platform. Specify the path where you want to install Identity Vault. Select the desired Identity Vault installation type. Enter the tree name and administration information. Enter HTTP server port detail. Enter the LDAP configuration. Check the configure secret store checkbox. Review the summary page and click finish. Upgrading Identity Manager Engine. You can upgrade Remote Loader along with Identity Manager Engine upgrade. Before you start, create a backup of the Remote Loader configuration files. Stop all the drivers that are running before you start the upgrade process. The upgrade process updates the driver shim files that are stored in the file system on the host computer. If you migrate Identity Manager from 32-bit to 64-bit, the GroupWise driver and native custom drivers do not work. To make them work, you must run the GroupWise driver in 32-bit remote loader using the wizard. In Select Components page, check these checkboxes to install or upgrade remote loader. Provide the username in LDAP format and password. Browse the installation path 
for remote loader, 32-bit and 64-bit respectively. Browse the path for .NET remote loader. Browse the path for DIR XML utilities. Review the installation summary and click install in silent mode. Find the silent properties file in this location. Specify these values for 32-bit remote loader. Specify these values for 64-bit remote loader. Specify these values for .NET remote loader. .NET remote loader is only for Windows machines. Specify whether you want to install the Identity Manager server and drivers. Specify whether you want to install the 32-bit remote loader service and drivers. You can install both 32-bit and 64-bit versions on the same server. Specify whether you want to install the utilities and system components for the remote loader. Thank you for watching this video.